Hey guys, how's it going? Heather Lind from Holy Fit here with your Holy Fit Daily Sweat, your short daily workout that you can do anywhere because you don't need any equipment and it only takes up a small amount of space. So you could even do this outside and enjoy a bit of that nice weather. So I'm gonna share this with some groups. So it's just gonna take me a little bit to set that up. So if, um, if you are watching the replay of this, just go ahead and fast forward into the good stuff. Um, make sure that you do warm up before you start the workout though. And if you're watching it right now, just bear with me and I'll get this done as quickly as possible. All right. So almost at the end of another week. Man, time goes by fast. <laughs> Maybe that's because I have a competition coming up that I'm getting a little nervous about. <laughs> It'll all be good. Good thing about my competition is this is the very first one I've ever done. So I'm in that area of bliss where I don't know what to expect. I have nothing that I need to, that I want to improve on because I haven't done it before. So that's kind of nice doing something brand new. Like the first time I practiced time trials on my bike, it was no big deal because I had nothing to beat. I was just trying it for the first time. So when you do it again and you try to get better at it, that's where you start to get a little bit more stressed out, I guess. But anyways, Really, I'm just doing this competition just to be able to experience it. I've been curious about it for a long time, so I figured might as well do it. Now's the time. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. <laughs> if nothing else, it'll be interesting. All right, I'm gonna share it one more time. There we go. So if you're going to do the workout, make sure that you warm up before you do it. Very, very important to warm up. Um, you want to move around for five to 10 minutes. Um, if you have a piece of stationary equipment, like a stationary bike or something like that, that's a great way to warm up or uh, just go for a little walk or whatever, just something. Move your body for five to 10 minutes before you start um, and uh, make sure that everything is, is nice and warm. And when you're doing the workout, uh, keep in mind, if you start feeling it where you know you shouldn't be feeling it, like in your joints, in your knees, your hips, your back, um, back off right away. Don't work through that pain. You're just gonna end up injuring yourself. You can always modify things or skip a certain exercise if it's just not working for you, and that's fine. There are certain exercises I can't do anymore, so I just modify or skip them. So I'm gonna show you the exercises. Bit of a longer one today. I've got more exercises to do than usual. First part, it's called 10 or 20. Um, so you're gonna do uh, alternate between doing uh, 10 reps of something and 20 reps of something. And uh, you're gonna go through for up to three sets. So that means up two, which means that you don't have to do all three. Do what's gonna work for you today. So as long as you're moving, that's all that matters. So once you're warmed up, you're gonna start with 10 squats. So squats are just sitting back, like there's a chair behind you. I like to use my hands to counterbalance because I'm sending my butt back. Most of the weight's going through my heels and then coming back up, squeezing my glutes. So 10 of those. Then you do 20 plyo lunges. That's so gonna go one, two, three, all the way up to 20. Make sure you're getting a nice wide stance on that plyo lunge so the front knee is staying over the knee or sorry, over the heel, and you're pushing through the heel, squeezing your glutes. So in other words, you're not moving forward, putting pressure into the knees. So 20 of those. And then 10 push-ups. So you can do them from your toes, you could do them from your knees, or you can come up against a wall and do them against a wall. Or final option, if you've got some hand weights, you can lie on your back and do a chest press instead. Okay, so 10 of those. Then you're going to do 20 mountain climbers. So mountain climbers, you're in that high plank, and it's going to go one, two, three, all the way up to 20. Option is to take that bit of a jump out. Make sure your butt is staying down. So in other words, you're not up here. You want to keep everything flat and try to keep the hands underneath the shoulders for stability. And then after that, you're going to do 10 elbow plank jacks. 
So an elbow plank, and here's the jack. Jump out, jump in, jump out, jump in. So you could walk out, walk in, walk out, walk in. Okay, you don't have to jump. You could also do that from your hands if you wanted to, if you prefer. So you do 10 of those, and then you're gonna do 20 leg raises. So on your back, get your hands under your hips, lower the legs as low as you can without feeling your low back, and then lift up. Go back down, lift back up, doing 20 of those. Make sure your abs are super, super tight. If you start to feel your low back, don't go as low or try bending your knees. So that's the first part of your workout. You're gonna do that three times. After you do one set, rest for a bit, let the heart rate come down, get yourself back together, and then do it again. Or if you just feel like doing one today, that's fine as well. Second part of the workout. This is gonna be up to four times through. Uh, 45 seconds of work, 15 second recovery. First exercise, burpees, because <laughs> we love them. So burpees, jump back, jump in, jump up. Okay, nice and soft with the landing. Option, walk back, walk in, stand up tall, come back down. So when I say stand up tall, what I mean is don't just come up here and then go back down. That's gonna be hard on your back. You gotta come all the way up and then go all the way back down. So you do that for 45 seconds, take a 15 second break, shake things out, let the heart rate come down a bit. And then you're gonna come into a plank from your elbows, elbows under shoulders, abs tight, nice and flat. So you're not up here, you're not down here. You wanna be nice and flat. Holding that for 45. Take a little 15 second break. Probably wanna go into a nice child's pose. Then you're gonna do gorilla walks. So what that is, and I'll see if I can get myself in the frame here. So you come into a squat, put your hands on the mat or on the ground, come over and over and then over and over. I'm doing two because otherwise I'm gonna move out of the uh, frame here, but you could do as many as you wanted to. If you wanted to do 10 in one direction, come back 10 in the other direction, do whatever you want. So you do that for 45 seconds, take that 15 second break, and then your last exercise is suicide cat dance. So you do a side lunge, just like stay straight, tap the floor, little jump over to the other side. Okay, so if the floor is a little too low today, you could always just come tap the knee and go side to side like that. Make sure you're keeping your abs really tight because you are gonna be bent forward a little bit, so you wanna protect your back. Do that for 45 seconds, take a 15 second break, and then you start from the beginning and do up to four sets. All right, so that's the workout. So it's a little bit of a longer one. It might take you about 30 minutes or so to do, but. Um, I know you'll enjoy it and you're gonna feel awesome afterwards. And then when you're done, keep your feet moving around a little bit until your heart rate settles and you feel more comfortable and then you're gonna do your stretches. So grabbing an ankle, pulling your heel up towards your butt, it's gonna stretch out your quadriceps. Hold your stretches a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds. Hamstrings, butt goes back. Weight is going through the heel of the bent supporting leg, feeling a good stretch up the back of the straight leg. Glutes, cross one leg over, sit back, grab something for balance or sit down on the chair and cross one leg over to get those glutes. Then you're gonna reach up and over, 20 to 30 seconds each side, and then opening up your chest. So clasp your hands together, drop the shoulders, open up through the chest. And that's it, you guys, that's your workout. So if you try it out, let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Or if you want to, you can contact me uh, through Messenger if you want to chat a little bit more about it. I'm always happy to chat. All right, guys, have an awesome day. See you soon.